Okay, we are in Acts chapter 10, the Bacon chapter. Hi, it's Clint Paschal with the Waters Church, and we are doing the Bible together. I call Acts 10 the Bacon chapter because the dietary law is clearly changed in Acts 10, but it's way more important than us just getting to eat bacon. This is the story of the Gentiles being welcomed into the faith, and it is very significant. The story starts with a man named Cornelius. He is a God-fearing Gentile. He's a very generous man. He's well known for how much he loves the Lord. And a messenger from heaven shows up to Cornelius and he says, hey, we've been listening to you. God's been listening to you. You need to send some people from your house to Peter's house. Uh, go and get Peter, the apostle, and bring him to your place. And there's a very important thing that's gonna happen. But at the same time in the story, Peter, where he is staying, is up on his rooftop, which was very common for people in this day. The rooftop was flat and they used to hang out there a lot. He was up there and he was hungry and in the process of being hungry, he has a vision. And the vision is this sheet that's being lowered down like a big canopy from heaven and it's full of all kinds of animals that you can eat. And uh, many of the animals were unclean animals that were not kosher. And the vision, in the vision, God says, Peter, rise, kill, and eat. And Peter says, no, I will not eat anything that's unclean. And God says, watch it. Do not call something dirty that I have called clean. The sheet goes up. This happened three different times. And Peter is trying to figure this out. What was that? Can I eat bacon? About that time, these men come who have been sent by Cornelius. They call out for him. He goes down. He's like, can I help you? We're looking for Simon. He goes, that's me. Simon winds up going. When I say Simon, I'm talking about Simon Peter. Peter winds up going with them to Cornelius's house in Caesarea up the coast. He gets there and he finds a large group of people, all of them Gentiles. And Peter says, man, this is amazing that I'm even in your home. This is against our laws for me, a man like me to associate with, with people like you. But now I understand, Peter said. He said, I get it. God does not show favoritism. He does not choose people any longer based on nationality or ethnicity. The Christian faith is not supposed to look like the face of a Jew. The Christian face, faith sorry, is supposed to look like the face of everybody. The sheet was definitely about the dietary laws because everything changed, but the sheet had a much larger significance, and that is that God has now opened everybody up to the grace of Jesus Christ. It's not limited anymore. It's not a Jewish thing. It's a worldwide thing. He's talking to them about the importance of Jesus Christ, his crucifixion, his forgiveness of sins, and then the Holy Spirit does what he does. He came and landed on Cornelius and his men and all of his people. They are full of the Holy Spirit, and then they get baptized, and the people that were with Peter, the Jewish people, they were amazed. It says The Bible says they were astonished that this was happening. This was such a big deal that Gentiles could also say, I'm Israel. That Gentiles could say, I am a part of this. And thank goodness for Acts 10, when God brings all people of the earth together in the faith system of Christianity. Such a beautiful, beautiful chapter. Hey, thanks for doing the Bible together.